Hi, in this video, we're going to learn about parameters in JavaScript. We've been using functions in most of our programs so far. A function is a block of reusable code that is used to perform a single task. Functions are great because they help us organize our programs and avoid repeated code. In this program, we have a function that simulates rolling two six-sided dice. By creating a roll dice function, we can call it over and over again to roll the dice multiple times. But what if we wanted to roll dice with sides other than six? What if we wanted to roll, say, two 12-sided dice? We could create a function for each dice, a roll dice six sides function and a roll dice 12 sides function. But when looking at these two functions, you might wonder, isn't there a lot of repeated code here? I thought functions were supposed to avoid repeated code. If you're wondering this, you're right, because the first line and the second line and the third line of each of these functions are basically identical. In fact, the only difference between these functions is the maximum value in the randomizer function. This might lead to another question. Wouldn't it be nice if we could tell the roll dice function how many sides the dice should have so that when we want to roll a six-sided dice, it gives us two random numbers between one and six. Or when we want to roll a three-sided dice, it gives us two random numbers between one and three. Or if we wanted to roll two 12-sided dice, it would give us two random numbers between one and 12. We can generalize this by saying we want to be able to input two dice of any number of sides and have the output be two random numbers between one and the number of sides. Naturally, computer programming has a solution, introducing parameters. Parameters are values that we can input into our functions. Parameters are extremely powerful and will make our functions more versatile, which will in turn lead to less repeated code. Going back to the parts of a function, you might ask, where do parameters come in? When writing a function definition, the parameters go inside of the parentheses. You can have any number of parameters in a function definition. You just need to separate them with a comma. To use an analogy, writing a function with parameters is like writing a recipe that we can reuse. Let's say we have a function called make cake. By adding parameters, we can specify the type of cake, the flavor of cake, and the amount of sugar. This enables us to reuse the same function in different situations, which makes our code more efficient. Let's go back to our roll dice function and add parameters so that we can tell the function how many sides the dice should have. We can enter the parameter num sides into the parentheses of our function. Once we have given a function a parameter, we can then use the parameter inside of the function definition as a variable. In this function, we're using the value of num sides for the maximum value of the randomizer. You can name the parameter anything you want as long as you are consistent within the function definition. You'll also want to make sure to have the parameter name be descriptive of what it will be used for. Here, we've named the parameter max, so we change the maximum of the randomizer to match the parameter name. Now let's go back to our full program. Let's call the roll dice command and pass the value 6. The number 6 is also known as an argument. An argument is a value that is passed into a function when the function is called. This will input the value of 6 for num sides in the roll dice function, which will in turn replace any references to num sides in the function definition with 6. So when we run our program, we get the output of two random numbers between the values of 1 and 6. We can add another roll dice command and pass in the argument of 12. Now, when we run our program, the computer will execute the roll dice command with the argument of 6. Then it will execute the roll dice command with the argument of 12. In sum, we can use parameters to make our programs more versatile, which makes our programs more efficient as well. Let's now take a look at some examples.